Hi, Girl Scouts. Um, so I'm Andrea, and today we're going to be learning how to use iTree Canopy. So this tool can be used, or we're going to be using it to figure out what types of covers are in, what types of landscapes or covers are in your specific green space. So to get started, uh, you're going to go to this URL. After that, you're going to go click the Get Started button. It's going to show this map. So as an example, my chosen green space is Bartholomew Park. So let's try to find it on the map. So most likely you're going to get a zoomed out version. So we're just going to zoom in. I know for a fact my park is close to East 51st Street. There's East 51st Street, and here is my green space. So to get started, you're going to have to draw the boundaries. So for my example, my park, you can find the boundaries of the park on Google Maps. So I went ahead and looked it up in Google. Here are the boundaries, and I'm just going to try to be as accurate as possible and find, um, use this to find the boundaries. Yeah. So you're going to click draw boundary. You're going to start however you want to. Just make sure you're as accurate as possible in being able to draw. Remember, you can just move it around. You can also move the little squares that you make so you can have a more accurate representation of your green space. Uh, if your green space does come with this type of boundary, make sure that you're doing the boundary as accurately as possible. You can see the distinct boundary here. It's a little tricky, but it's pretty obvious. You just go up to a road. And I am done. When you're done, you should be able to see a red area. So once that's done, click Next. Uh, this next page just shows um, what colors are going to be represented in your little graph according to the type of cover class. There's seven different cover classes, so there's going to be seven different possible colors for your graph, which your little, um, this thing is going to make for you. So yeah, if you want, you can change colors, like let's see, I want to change impervious other. You double click on the option and I want purple. Update. Uh, click next. Um, you can just ignore this. The cool thing about iTree Canopy is that you can also use it to figure out air pollution, um, evaporation and transpiration, as well as carbon sequestration so that's pretty cool and if you don't know yet sequestration carbon sequestration is just how much carbon um trees in your the trees in your green space are able to absorb from the atmosphere so once you click next you go onto this page um you're gonna begin to do sample points so to start the sample pointing uh, you click this plus button and it just creates a random sample point for you. So here I got a sidewalk that would be considered impervious road. After that, you're going to click save and create new. Now you see you're going to try to be as accurate as possible. So I'm going to assume this is a tree. Save and create new. That would be grass slash herbaceous, herbaceous. 
and you're just gonna keep doing this. Um, we suggest a minimum of 30 times, no, 45 times, or just being, um, just make sure you have all, you're able to get all of the types of cover that are obviously seen in this green space. Like I was saying, you're going to want to do, want to be able to get the cover class of every single one of these. Well, not exactly like all the obvious ones, like there's obviously going to be trees, there's obviously going to be grass, there's obviously going to be impervious cover, impervious buildings, and so soil slash bare ground with these little courts. I don't know what they're called. Um, but yeah, just make sure you're able to get all of these. Um, you don't have to worry about like water or something like that because it's only a pool right here. And there is a creek running through this green space, but it's not obvious. So for the purposes of this tool, just don't worry about it. Um, so yeah. Save. And if you accidentally mess up on one of these sample points, um, like for here, I didn't um, label anything. You're just gonna double click it and it's gonna show you once again where that green, where that sample point is. Uh, that is tree. You're gonna click update. It's slow. Okay, and then you just keep going, keep going until you get um, at least all, all, all of these sample points. <sighs> yeah, you're going to try to get all of these types of covers, so soil, grass, tree, and that should be a minimum of 45 points for each green space at least if it's like 50 acres, like minus 50 acres. So I'm gonna do a minimum of 45, um, but it, it is gonna depend. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be a lot more detailed in the protocols on how many points you're gonna have to do, but just know the more you do, the more accurate the results are gonna be, and that's what we want. And once you get all your 45 points or more, or however many it took to be able to get all of these obvious co covers, you're gonna click report. If it ever loads. And this is the page. This is the report page. Um, this is the graph that you just created. I chose purple, but none of it showed up, but it's fine. Um, so as you can see here, this is the information in this first little table is the information that we're gonna want. The area for every type of cover that we need in order to create our map. Um, it also shows carbon sequestration air pollution and evaporation stuff like that so that's also really interesting if you want to check it out uh the thing i recommend doing sorry for missing this um be sure to save your results and uh put uh, whatever name you see fit and clicking save so that you don't lose anything so that when you do save it or like your the laptop like accidentally re restarts like you just have to click project file open i'm gonna browse um uh this is one i made beforehand you can open it i made one with 701 points um you don't have to be that specific and this is what I got. So now I'm able to come back and see what I got for all my sample points and what I was able to report.
as you can see here with this specific green space, I was never able to get the pool. So honestly, don't worry about the little, the little types of cover classes like water in my case. Just do what you see is obvious and make sure you get at least two points of those. Um, that should be it. Remember, if you want to start all over, you can just click project, file, new, start over. Okay. And you're good. And that's about it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, I will see y'all soon. Bye.